In this video, we're going to look at some of the different ways you can represent numbers. So we're going to start off by matching the number symbols with the number names from 1 to 10. Alright, so I'm going to start off with a nice easy one. I know the number 1. So I'm going to put that up there and then I'm going to look for the word which also means 1. So if I have a look through some of these words here, I can look at this one, un. So that looks like one to me, so we'll put those two together, and we'll sit them up there. Let's keep going on this one. So the next number, obviously, we want to look for is two. Oh, there's our two right there. And now we want to find the word two. T ooh. There we go. So we'll take that, put that up there as well. All right. Now, number three. There's our three. And a three in words. So we can take those two, put them there, let's move these over and make a bit more space. And then we're looking for the number four, beauty, right there as well. And the word four, we can take those two and put them there. And we're going to look for the number five, which is here as well. And the word five, there we go, F I've. Let's sit that up there. Now we're looking for the number X and the word X to match that. Now we've only got a few left. So next we want to find seven and then also the word seven. Beautiful. Number eight, oh, that's down here, and the word is right next to it, eight, eight. Two left, so we've got nine, the word nine, and that just leaves our number ten. And of course that goes with the word ten. Great work. Now, the one other thing though I want to do is I also want to match some values of objects. So if we spread out all these different objects here, let's see if we can match these to our symbols and names. So let's start with our one. Which one of these objects shows just one object? Well, I think that's got to be our sun here. We've got one sun, so we can stick that up on top there. Now, we're looking for two of something. Well, two flowers, let's put that there, three, three bees, and now we're looking for four, four fish, now five, now we're starting to get into some slightly bigger numbers, so let's see if we can spot five of something. I think there might be five trees here, let's have a count to make sure, one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful, five trees. Now, six. Hmm, which one of these do we think has six? Maybe down here with the teddy bears? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six teddy bears, beautiful. Seven. Hmm, maybe the cars? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent, doing really well. All right, now we want to find eight. We've just got three left. Let's have a look at the balloons. Maybe there's eight balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no, nine balloons. Well, hmm, let's try the snails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there we go. Eight snails. And remember there's nine balloons, so we can do that in one nice and quickly. And that just leaves one left, ten ice cream cones. Let's check to make sure it's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. There we go, we've matched our symbols with our names with our objects. Good work.